Dad work. Thanks. I appreciate your work. Crazy. All right. So we're trying to recreate this drawing here on the first slide. I'll go over a couple of sticking points. One of them is the, the spectrum right here. We can make that using the fill bucket in a rectangle. And the way you do that is you go about a shape here and draw out a rectangle. And let's get rid of the outline. And let's go to the fill and make it a gradient. Custom. And we can add as many chips as you want. It's Roy G. Biv, but it reads uh, right to left. So this tab right here would be red. Another tab about right here. Let's see, hit add. And you an orange one now. Uh, another one. I need a, or, uh, excuse me, red. Let's go with orange here and yellow. So red, orange, yellow. The next one would be green right over here. Uh, then uh, violet, excuse me, blue. And violet, or indigo, excuse me, very dark blue. And then lastly, this chip would need to be violet. So you should end up with something like this. But we're trying to make this, but all you have to do is rotate it using the free rotate button here, this guy in the circle. Rotate it like that, and now you can make it the way you want. Okay, in the drawing, uh, let's make this wider. The yellow's a little bit to the right, it looks like, of dead center. Yeah, that's about right. I'll live with this. We could always adjust this later. And so uh, the next part would be putting a, a black rectangle underneath here. And then these are white lines. And then some text here. Uh, the next sticking point would probably be the exponenti exponentiation of these numbers. To do that, you just type out the number you would, you know, the base 10, and then for the superscript, you'd go to format text superscript. And so to the power of negative 14, like that. And then, you know, make that the way you want, get, get set, then you can copy and paste it and do all the other numbers as well. Try to keep them uh, uh, equally distant from one another. I've been using 10 spaces, so that meaning that if I get it right on top of it, one, two, three, you know, you just go over 10 spaces. And that makes them equally distant, especially if you copy paste them and then uh, use that to make the next numbers, okay? So again, uh, if you uh, do that, it should be equally uh, apart, okay? Um, the other part are the images here. Uh, what you want to do once you've got everything labeled gamma ray, x-ray, ultraviolet rays, and so on, you need examples of these. Uh, these images need to be linked to where you got them. So say for radar, I was doing Katrina here. Guys, have a seat. You're not done. If you're not done, be seated. And so I find an image that I want, uh, say it's this one, and I just right click and copy on this. Then I would come over here uh, and paste it in. And if you need to make it smaller so it fits over radar, you can. And then what I'd ask you to do is to, you know, where you found this, uh, go to visit, and then give me the URL of the website where this image came from, okay? And that's all you have to do for that. 
So what you do is you can go right here, insert link. It's also here, insert link, uh, right here. And it's also command K or control K. So I'll do control K, command K, paste in the URL, and then hit apply. Now that when I go to the slideshow, um, that, that image is hot, it goes to that new site. Um, let's see. That's pretty much it. You know, just these are lines. That's a gray box. Oh, here, uh, I put a white rectangle in between the gray bar. That way, I could have an area for uh, my visible light. is right there. And that's about it. Just use, uh, try to use six icons or images. They all should be linked. If you have time, try to do the uh, title here. And we'll give you a... Uh, some more time on the second day of class if, if we need it. And thank you for your time. It's so fun to do it.